All right, so this is Daggerfall Unity. Um, well, the base game is Daggerfall. I'm using the Unity mod. So let me just go through here what is what's kind of settings I have, because you've got a lot of settings here that aren't... They're kind of like quality of life things and even some things that change the game. So I'm not... I'm, I don't think I ever played Daggerfall originally, so I don't have any, like you know, nostalgic feelings about it. I don't, I don't really care if, you know, it's not um, entirely how the original gameplay experience was. Um, I'm more for, like, quality of life stuff and, um, you know, anything that uh, can make a game less horrible to play. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Within reason. I mean, I want to, I want to have, like, a, um, a playthrough that's close to the original game, but, you know, without the, like, a lot of the, um, stupid tedium that the original game did have, and I'm aware that this game had a lot of tedium, um, because I've played it a little bit, so I know how that was. Um, so let me just go through the settings here, and, um, let's see, so you can see what I'm, what I'm rolling with here. So, let's go advanced here. Um, let me see, I, I'm trying to think of, do I have anything? Okay, I don't have any of these settings, really. This is this is how my settings are here. I don't have small, I, re, I was really tempted to put smaller dungeons on, because my god, the, dungeon, the dungeons in this game are just, just a horrible nightmare. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna not put that on, just because, well, <laughs> I feel like I want a more authentic experience in that regard. Um, let's see, interface, let's see, ah, um, okay, I've got enhanced item lists on, there's another, there's another thing that I had on, but I guess it's not on this panel here. Oh, dungeon wagon access prompt. Nah, I'm turning that off. Okay, enhancements. This is probably it. Okay, so I have some mods. Well, I have one mod. So, if you don't count Daggerfall Unity as a mod, I have one other mod. Um, and that's to give the game better textures. It's basically... I forgot what the mod, mod's actually called. It's um, better graphics, basically. It's just a graphical enhancement. I was having... I was getting, like motion sickness from the original textures which were low resolution pixel art type textures it was seriously seriously making me nauseous so that's why i installed this <clears throat> mod that gives you like higher resolution textures and you know and in in some cases i think it's a downgrade because some of the graphics look worse but look i can't play the game if i if i get like motion sickness so <clears throat> i had to do that so that's the only mod I have installed. Um, let's see here. Your death warning. Advanced. Okay, advanced climbing system. I have that on. That's one that's not default. Um, enemy infighting. I think that's on by default, but wasn't in the original game. Enhanced combat AI. That's but that's on by default. Okay, I don't have allow magic item repairs. Um. I was kind of 50-50 on that. I think I'm going to go with a little bit more traditional experience and, and leave that off. Uh, instant repair services. Yeah. that's Again, that's quality of life. Um, okay, guild quest player selection. Normally what happens when you, say, try to get a quest is they say, hey, you want to do this quest? And you say no. And then they say, hey, you want to do this quest? You say no. Instead of that, we've got like a list that appears and I can just pick the quest that I want rather than going through that rigmarole. So again, quality of life type thing. Um, and that's it for this panel. Let's see, video, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, it looks like crap. This game looks like crap no matter what, to be honest. But, <laughs> but at least it doesn't make me sick. Um, maybe that's it. Maybe that it feels like there was something else, but maybe that's it. All right. Mm. Yeah, I think... Okay, whatever. I think we're ready to go.
Left hand. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, start a new game. Please select your home province. Okay, so, well, where do I start? Um, this game is like, I don't know, in the world of gaming, there would always have been a dagger fall. <laughs> and, um, and it exists to let uh, other game designers know that... Um, all those grandiose ideas of making, like, a, a literal, you know, I don't know, continent-sized world within a game is maybe not such a good idea. And um, they did it so we don't have to, I guess, is, is how it goes. But anyway, um, we can start as uh, several races here. Most of the bonuses for these guys are forgettable. However... <clears throat> There's a few that are worth um, playing for the race bonuses. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the high elves because they're immune to paralyze, and it's not like paralyze is a big deal. It's more like, well, that's one less thing that I have to remember to cast a spell for. So you know, um, this game, the mechanics in this game. Uh, didn't just fail, they, they epic failed. They're, <laughs> I'll go through the stats and stuff, but, uh, it's not a, actually a hard game if you're a power gamer. If, like, you've got to, you've got to work to make this game hard. This game is actually extremely easy. You have multiple ways to make yourself almost invincible. Um, the, the immunity to paralyzing, like I said, it's not that important. I could cast a spell that would do the same thing, but... By being immune to para paralysis, it's one of the basic kind of things that some of the monsters will throw at you. And by being immune to it, it's just one less thing I have to worry about. Because later on, I'm going to be throwing up a bunch of buffs. It's like, if I don't have to throw up a paral paralysis buff, it's one less thing to, you know, that, I'm, that I gotta hassle with. Plus, if I get like, if I'm sleeping and I don't have any buffs on, you know, one of the things I probably want to be immune to is maybe paralysis. Just, anyway. Doesn't really matter. I mean, um, the bonuses, like I said, you don't really need them, but it's an extra little thing. Okay, so we're going to be male. What would you like to do? I'm going to choose for a list of possible classes to play and pick custom class. They have set classes and they're no better than the custom class that you can make in fact they're usually almost a lot worse so we're gonna go custom um you can just custom your class in this game <clears throat> class name so here's what i'm gonna do because i'm a power gamer as you all know i'm going to make like a character that is like hits like a truck <clears throat> And, and can also cast 
mostly buff spells in order to make myself nigh invincible, right? Um, so it's more of a, it's not really a mage character, although I can, can later. If I want to, I can cast damage spells, but probably going to be using my fists most of the time. Let's call this class... Let's call this class a Dread Knight. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay, so now special advantages. So this is where, yeah, this is where you've got to, like, this is probably where the, the stats shine, I think, is in the special advantages, special disadvantages. The rest were kind of just not real well thought out in my opinion but this is pretty good so edit special advantages so what we want to give ourselves is we want to be first of all increased majory so your your um, spell points in this game which never go any higher than your intellect either divided by two or up to times three doesn't matter what level you are. Does nothing matters. It's just, except you can put. I, I think you can get some equipment that actually increases it, but that's for way later. But um, yeah, it's it's not a really large spell pool, and what you rely on is the fact that your spells decrease in cost as you get more proficient with the magic skills. So, um, but I mean that's probably the biggest increase, or that's probably the biggest advantage right there is the increased majory. Everything else is pretty much secondary, but we are going to add some more stuff. So, <clears throat> so let's see here. I want to be immune to poison, and then I want to be immune to disease. So I'm immune to paralysis, I'm immune to poison, and I'm immune to disease. Now you can cast, you can get like spells that'll cure disease. You can get potions that'll cure disease. Same thing with poison. However, those two things are something that you get hit with them and you don't know it initially. And then it's not until you sleep that you realize, oh, I was poisoned and now I'm dead. Or, oh, I was diseased and now I've got a problem. Um, I don't like the fact that it's not really immediately... You, you might miss the fact that you have those problems, and um, you know what? Like I said, just make yourself immune. Then you don't have to worry about it. So, it's not, again, it's not like they're a big deal. This is just kind of like convenience. Anyway, so immunity to disease, immunity to poison. Um, let's see. Most of the stuff that, sh that sounds good is not really that amazing, like rapid healing, regenerate health. Those are kind of useless. Acute hearing is actually bad. Adrenaline rush is so minor. <clears throat> Plus, you wouldn't want to be running around with a, such a small percentage of your health anyway. Athleticism. Athleticism might be okay. It, I think it decreases your fatigue, fatigue drain by a small amount. I don't really think it's that important. So, resistances, you can get resistance, you can get an extra. So, the way the resistances work in this game is kind of wonky. You start with 50% 50, 50 resistance to everything. If you have a weakness to something, it's negative 50 resistance. So, you end up with zero resistance. If you have an immunity to something, it's plus 50 resistance. So, you end up with 100 resistance. And if you have... If you just pick the uh, a weakness, then it's not minus 25% resistance, so you end up with 25% resistance. And um, <clears throat> yeah, um, if you if you get instead of immunity, you just get resistance, then it's extra 25% resistance, so you end up with 75% resistance. Now all that means is that when somebody casts a spell on you or tries to use an effect, you have a whatever percentage resistance you have to resist it. So. You know, one out of a hundred on a on a dice. You know, you roll that and you see what if you resist it or not. That includes everything. That includes damage spells. That includes effect spells. That includes, you know, po poison, etc. That's that's how it works, <clears throat> which is weird. So you might have like a, a super high damage spell, and you throw it at somebody, and because they have a hundred percent resistance to like whatever the element is, like fire, it does nothing. 
<laughs> just literally nothing. Um, or they have 50% resistance. You throw the, like this huge damage spell that would kill them in one hit, and they make the resistance roll 50-50, and it, they're unaffected. Or they might they might fail the resistance roll and they instantly die. Uh, you know, again, it's a, it's a it's a screwed up system, but whatever. That's the system. So what does this mean? Well, um, it would be nice to get like immune to everything. There are some nasty spells in the game that can kill you pretty bad, uh, pretty pretty quickly. Um, however, there are multiple ways to get resistance. You can put spells up that'll give you resistance. Like, literally, you can get... Um, and they all stack. You can get Spell Absorption, which just might absorb the spell depending on your magic points. So, no damage to you, you just get spell points, right? But then, on the other hand, you've got Spell Reflection, which might just turn the spell and shoot it back at the caster. That means that you don't get affected by the spell and they get hit. That's another thing that you can have. And then, finally, I think it's just general spell resistance. There's a spell for just general spell resistance. And a percentage chance, you know, that you just completely ignore a spell, and that's it. And then, finally, there's elemental resistance. And it, this is, like, consecutively, if it gets through one, then it has to deal with the other. So you can see how... Um, if you, if you can throw up those buffs, then you can be completely immune. I mean, you could be completely immune several ways. If you put the resistance high enough, you're completely immune anyway. So you really only need one. Um, later on in the game, I'll probably be running with uh, just general spell resistance and maybe spell absorption, or maybe just spell absorption, and that'll make me completely immune. So you could put something down here. You could put, like, spell absorption. A lot of people do. But... Mm, you can cast it later. It's not a big deal. You can even get it on an item if you want. So instead of that, we're going to do something else. We're going to go bonus to hit, undead. And then we're going to go to bonus to hit, humanoid. And then we're going to do bonus to hit, whoops, sorry. We're going to do bonus to hit, Daedra. What does that mean? Well, every time I do a physical attack... Um, and I think this includes bows. I have, if I'm if I'm hitting at uh, an undead, for instance, I have my level plus my level to hit, and then my level divided by three to bonus damage. So if I'm at level thirty, I'm gonna get a thirty percent chance to hit. I think it's I think it's um, your level to hit. I know it's your level divided by three for damage, but I think it's your level to hit. So Plus 30% chance to hit, and plus 10 damage. Now, plus 10 damage is quite a bit of damage. That's a lot of damage. So, um, I, for instance, like the best weapon later on in the game will be maybe or an average of 25 damage. So you can imagine t plus 10 damage, that's huge, right? Um, so uh, for that reason, I'm going to add those. Those are the three most dangerous categories of enemy in the game. Undead, Humanoid, and Daedra. Really, if it's not in that category, it's either it's either too rare or too weak to really need a, ba a bonus damage against it anyway. So anyway, so we're going to add that. Then we're going to add Expertise in Hand-to-Hand. -hand. Now that that's for hand-to-hand -hand attacks. That's unarmed attacks. And basically, in any other game, hand-to-hand -hand attacks uh, would, would have the problem that you're not using a weapon which is going to give you further bonuses, right? But in this game, the weapons really... like The bonuses on the weapons really aren't worth worrying about too much, um, even if you enchant them. So not having an enchanted weapon in your hand isn't really going to hurt you too much. Um, and the hand-to-hand -hand damage can get the highest of any physical damage in the game, actually. That's because the hand-to-hand -hand skill determines your actual damage, and you can pump the hand-in-hand -hand skill pretty high, from what I understand, 
Um, you can get multiple enchantments on your armor that increase your hand-to-hand -hand skill percent. Um, anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make like a super hand-to-hand -hand guy. In addition to being able to cast a lot of spells and all that. Because you can basically do it all in Daggerfall. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so that's all my advantages. And what happens, the, the downside to that is I'm going to level my skills slower. However, <clears throat> we're going to have to fix that. So right now, skill advancement for class, it's more than three times as difficult. I'm even going to pump up my max hit points per level to the max, which is 30. So my, my hit point gain per level is going to be, uh, I think it rolls 1 to 30, maybe, plus your endurance. So it would be like an average of 15. Then I'm going to put my endurance up, and that's going to increase it even more. I'm not sure what the actual range is. I think it's 1 to 30. But anyway, um, that, that increases my difficulty slider even further. So we have to get that back down, and preferably I want it down to the minimum because we want to level up stuff real fast. Otherwise, otherwise it's going to be a long game. So edit special disadvantages. I'm going to drag that slider back down. So, okay, now I'm going to add a bunch of weaknesses here. I'm going to add a weakness to literally every element. Um, and uh, that, you know, will drag that difficulty slider back down. Now, you might think that that's a big deal. My experience is really not. And, you know, by the time that you need... By the time you need elemental resistance, you're going to have the spells to give you the buffs to basically ignore spells anyway. So... But early on, it's not going to matter. Critical weakness to fire. Critical weakness to frost. Critical weakness to magic. Critical weakness to shock. So all of those are a category of magic um, that can be cast on you. <clears throat> and basically what that means is normally I would have 50% resistance to fire. So it would be 50-50 if somebody cast a fire spell on me, whether or not I'd be affected. <clears throat> I'm going to take away that 50 and now it's zero. So it's 100% if somebody casts a fire spell on me, I'm going to be affected. That's what that means. Um, not a big deal, believe it or not. You'll see. Anyway, so now we're going to do, we're going <clears> to <throat> get some more, pull that slider down um, more by going forbidding material. So your weapons and armor can be made out of a, uh, material. We've got Admantium, we've got Daedric. Admantium and Daedric are the best, basically, I think. And then we got Dwarven and El Ebony. Those are probably the top. But... We can forbid ourselves steel. Not a big deal. Again, you'd think it would be a big deal. Not not really. Steel, elven, forbidden material, dwarven. I think that might be it. Okay. And now if you see, you see we got that uh, that thing down there. Actually, I'm going to take dwarven away. Because we, we can't be below that line. If we're below that line, we can't start. So instead of dwarven, let's do... Silver or Mirthril, they're basically the same thing. Yeah, Silver. There we go. So I can't use Silver, I can't use Elven, I can't use Steel. Not a big deal, believe it or not. Um, there's still plenty of stuff, good stuff to use. Um, critical Weakness Shock, Critical Weakness Magic, Critical Weakness Frost. And I'm at the point three slider. So that means <clears throat> my skills to level require about 30% of what they normally would to level, like 30% 30% of the uses, let's say. Um, and that's as low as they can go. So we're going to level really, really fast. We're going to level our skills really, really fast. Which, in my opinion, I mean, unless you're doing a game where you want to just play forever, that's the way to go. I mean, now you could, if you just were more patient, you could put the you know, not give yourself any weakness, and you could be at the, you know, three times slider, and it'd just take three three times as long to level your skills and everything, and you could do that if you had the patience, but I don't, so that's why we're doing this. All right, so that's that. So now we've got to talk about the, I guess, attributes. 
these, <clears throat> yeah, this whole system, like I said, it was not a fail. It was an epic fail. There's, let's see, one, two, three. There's four of, I think these eight, is the eight? Yeah, there's four of these eight attributes that actually do something useful and four that do things that are questionable in their usefulness. Let's start with strength. So strength um, adds damage. So the damage, I think, is divided by every, every point over 50. Divide that by 5, and that's your extra damage. So if I get to 100, I get 10 extra damage. 10 extra damage is good. Yeah, this, this is for, I think, melee. I'm not sure about bows. Basically, I don't even bother with bows in this game. But anyway... So that's good. All right. So we get a little bit extra strength, uh, a little bit extra damage from strength. That makes sense. Then we also get in um, fatigue. Fatigue never increases other than by uh, your strength or endurance. Fatigue is useful. That that um, like if you run into fatigue, you drop, you drop to the floor and I guess sleep. And if there's monsters around, you die. So you need fatigue. You you need uh, you use fatigue. Um, in pretty much everything you do. Like if you do an action, it uses a little fatigue, I think. So fatigue's, fatigue is important. Damage is important. Strength is a good stat. Now, intelligence, that's your spell points. And that's all it is. Your intelligence times whatever your multiplier is, that's your spell points. Spell points are important, although I think later you can get spell points on equipment. So maybe if you could survive to that point, it wouldn't really matter. But... For me, anyway, how I'm going to play, that's an important stat just because it determines your spell points. That's all it does, though. Willpower. So willpower gives you a small bonus to your resistances across the board based on the actual stat divided by 10. So in this case, if I have 50 willpower, I get plus 5% resistances across the board. That's how I understand it works. That's all it does. There's some misinformation about this game that will tell you that, well, your willpower affects your the effectiveness of your spells. Nonsense. It does not do that. All it does is a slight bonus to your resistances. Therefore, we don't care about it. And this is one of the places that I'm going to dump it down to 10 in order to get extra stat points for other places. Agility. This is <laughs> these things might surprise you. Agility does nothing except adds a small bonus or penalty to your chance to hit. It's actually not important um, because the the penalty uh, the penalty or the bonus is so small, and it's basically your agility minus the enemy's agility when you are swinging. Uh, you know, do you have if you have more agility, then you get a slight slight bonus to your chance to hit. If you have less agility, you get a slight penalty. The actual numbers is agility, like your your di the difference in your agility divided by 10. So if it's like best case scenario, you have 100 agility and the enemy has 10 agility. It's a difference of 90. Divide that by 10, you get a 9% bonus to, to your chance to hit. It's going to be rare that you're going to have that kind of a difference there. But it's a slight bonus, and there's only so many stats, and um, I have a little bit of stats left over after I take it from everybody else, so um, every every other stat. So um, I'm going to actually pump agility a little bit just for that slight bonus, because why not? Um, anyway, endurance. Endurance um, affects your hit points per level. Um, not retroactively, by the way. So if you have not, if you have 50 endurance, one level, and uh, you get a bonus of, I think maybe, I think the bonus might be zero to your um, actual hit points for that level. But let's say you level up another level, and at that level you have 100 endurance. I think the bonus might be plus five. Now. You don't get, for that level that you only had 50 endurance, you don't get an, that extra 5 hit points. So it's not retroactive. Therefore, if we're going to do a high hit point character, which I think you should, um, 
<clears throat> get that endurance maxed immediately. That way you get the maximum number of levels with the endurance stat high. The other thing endurance does is stamina. Or stamina, no, sorry, fatigue. It's called fatigue in this game. So uh, fatigue is important. Your fatigue is your strength plus your endurance, basically. You want a lot of fatigue. It's not like, it's not going to kill you if you had, say, only 100 fatigue versus 200 fatigue, but it's more fatigue the better. And like I said, there's a limited number of stats that actually do something useful. So because of the hit points and because of the fatigue, endurance is one of the one of the stats that I like to max. Okay, so personality. All personality does is influences your interaction with uh, NPCs. And... Um, Basically, it's the the bonus it gives you. I'm not gonna say it's. Uh, I've never played like with max personality, <clears throat> but I'm I'm. It's it's not enough to really for me to really care. Basically, if you talk to like a peasant and they tell you to shove off, you just talk to another peasant if you need need some information. Eventually, you'll find somebody that'll tell you what you need to know, d despite the fact that your personality may be like rock bottom. Which is going to be? It's going to be like 10. The whole game, pretty much. Okay. So, personality. Forget it. <clears throat> Don't need it. Alright, so, speed. Speed is like... I don't know if it's the number one stat. I say, I say... I'd say... Yeah, maybe it's the number one stat. Speed influences your attack speed and your run-walk speed. I like speed. I like attacking fast. I like running around fast. Definitely max speed. Um, then we got luck. Luck is basically like agility. It's it's basically the the complete um, complete mirror of agility. It does. It, it's basically just affects your your chance to hit. It doesn't does not affect drops. You know, treasure you get. It doesn't affect any of that. Um, or at least I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I, according to everything I've read, it doesn't. So all it does, it gives you a slight bonus to hit or penalty to hit, depending on your luck versus the enemy's luck. Okay. Yeah. Put it to 10. <laughs> now, maybe if we get enough levels, um, so I'm going to get agility maxed, despite its very, very small bonus. Um... If I have enough points, I'll max luck too, depending on what happens. Um, just so we can maximize those um, chances to hit and dodge. But right now, I'm not going to worry about it. It's at 10. Maybe we'll get it up there. Maybe we won't. It's not a big deal. Okay, so anyway. Going to go for strength. Put it at 75, which is the max you can put it at. Intelligence, 75, which is the max you can put it at. Uh, endurance 75, which is the max you can put it at, and speed 75, which is the max you can put it at, and then the rest in agility. So agility gets to 70. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to change Dread Knight to Death Knight. Okay. Anyway. All right. So then we've got to pick our skills. This is a little complicated because your ability to level up is is dependent on your skills. You basically you need 15 point advancements in your skills to get a level. This means that there's a limited amount of levels you can actually get in this game depending on how low your stats are in in these skills. So, and it's only, th it's, it's not all your skills, it's between three of your primary skills, two of your major skills, whichever is the highest, and one minor skill. Those six skills um, will influence how many levels you can get, which is, I guess, I guess the max max, if you do everything perfectly, would be like level 32 or 33, something like that. Um... I'm just shooting for level 30, which, um, you know, if you get unlucky, you actually might only get 29. But level is important for hit point gain. You can get a little bit on the stats, although, you know, 
your stats probably you won't have much to much to increase its of value once you get to 30 but um uh you get you get a few stats and the the spells that you cast are based on level in terms of duration or power so the spells is really important L level is really important for spells so you do want to get as high as you possibly can although you know the difference between getting to 30 and 31 is not really that big a deal um, I'll probably, like I said, I'll shoot for 30. We'll see if we can get 30. So, um, that means it's actually somewhat important, the skills that you choose. Um, if you choose skills, like, if I were to put a primary skill of, like, mercantilism, mercantilism is really hard to level up. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's hard, but it's really inconvenient to level up. And therefore, um, it would be a real drag leveling. Um, so I'm going to put things that I'm going to use a lot and know that I can get fairly high level fairly quickly in order to reach that, that level, you know, level cap, uh, when I want to reach it. Right. So primary skill, number one, because we're going to be using hand to hand. So we're going to go hand to hand. Then we're going to go, sometimes I do destruction see destruction um should i do mysticism I'm trying to think restoration mysticism restoration i'm gonna go thaumaturgy um mysticism restoration and we want running probably Running's another one that I really like. I, I like moving fast. It's it's really cool. Um, and then we're going to go to minor skills. So remember, only one of these minor skills is going to count. Um, actually, I'm... Hold on. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. All right, so we want... Um, see here what was the other one alteration there we go okay now <clears throat> there are f there are six magic categories so i'm going to leave one magic category off my skill set that's because <laughs> the questions are going to ask me there there's going to be a question set later and um i don't i want to have i want to have one magic skill that I don't have on any of these skill lists because in those questions I'm going to choose that magic skill therefore those you know that magic skill is not going to count towards my level max uh, hopefully that made sense anyway I'm trying to max I'm trying to make sure that I don't get under 30 level my, my level doesn't cap it under 30 so that's um anyway illusion I'm not going to pick as a skill um so illusion doesn't really matter to me anyway there's really of minor value i don't i don't run around invisible um anyway okay so now what do we we want to pick critical strike we want to pick dodging we want to pick see climbing i like climbing and jumping <clears throat> not necessary but fun so <laughs> Um, I like I like having fun. Obviously, um, climbing and jumping are fun to run around. You like using that. Swimming? No, we don't need swimming. Streetwise, there's like you get to this point, and there's like a really limited amount of things that are useful. Stealth, I think, I'm just gonna run around fully visible and punch things. So you don't need stealth. Pick pickpocket? No. Um, mercantile? No. Medical is probably. Eh, medical. Yeah, let's go medical. There you go. Okay, so, yeah. Basically, we got hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Uh, critical strike. Critical strike, unlike its, just, like its, its name, you would think this would increase damage. I don't think it does. I think all it does is it's more um, extra chance to hit. Dodging, obviously, is more extra chance to avoid being hit. So, dodging is important. 
Um, yeah. Basically, basically that stuff and the magic, because the magic's going to be a big deal later on. We're going to want to buff ourselves up with spells, and therefore I'm going to want everything, everything in this list as far as these... Well, destruction obviously is to do damage, but why not? Um, we probably do want to do some area of effect damage later anyway. So anyway, so that's my Death Knight class, and we're going to hit Exit. Okay, and we're going to go choose your character's career path by answering 12 important career decisions that will influence your character's background. Okay, so this is why I left Illusion off the list. If you choose one of these, it, it um, gives you a bonus to that, that skill, and I don't want to give a bonus to anything, any skill that's on my list, because that'll make me, it'll decrease the amount of leeway I have to gain levels. So we pick Illusion. What school of magic have you been studying the longest? Pick Illusion. What motivates you in, uh, to a life of adventure? Fun, I think, pumps skills that I don't have on that list. Um, I think it's like streetwise etiquette, something like that. I forgot what it is, but it's, it's not on my list, I'm pretty sure. In between formal study, you spent your time... Okay, again, I could choose sparring. That would increase my hand-to-hand -hand damage, but I don't want that. I don't want that because that's on my list. Let's go learning economics that increases my mercantile, which is not on my list. Since childhood, you saved a... Doesn't really matter here. I'm going to go a favorite book. You can sometimes sell these for a little bit. Okay, in gratitude for service, Redditor, the Emperor gave you... Um, an ebony dagger? This, I always get this question. I've seen people say, like, how do you get this question? Because I want the Ebony Dagger. Um, for some reason, when I the way I pick my skills, I always get this question. But Ebony is a very, very nice material. It's uh, one of the later game materials. It can hit anything, and it gives you a huge bonus to your attack uh, hit percentage. Um I'm using hand-to-hand, -hand, though. It's not going to matter. The reason I'm going to choose it is so I can sell it, which I think... Uh, I forgot what it sells for, but I think it sells for a little bit. So we're going to choose it anyway, even though I'm not going to use it. Okay, as you grew older, you received additional magic, magical training in, again, School of Illusion, not on my list. Okay. As a child, your nickname was... So if you pick Quick Quicksilver, that is... Um, that is... Um, that's running. Running is on my list. I don't want to choose that. We'll choose Guppy. That's swimming. Swimming is not on my list. You're friendlier than most with... I don't think this matters. I'm going to say the Infernal Daedra. I think maybe that increases your Daedric um, um, language or something like that, but I'm not sure. Of all the disagreeable types, you have the most personal hatred for the stupid peasants. I don't know if that matters anyway, but whatever. Um, you're intimate friends with... Uh, I don't know. An assassin. What god, if any, do you worship? I'm going to choose none. Uh, you have the most trouble. Okay, so resisting poisons will give you a minus 5% bonus to resist poisons. So that means my poison resist, which should be 100%, would be 95%. I don't want to do that. I, similar with diseases... Staying awake and alert, I think, decreases your fatigue. Resisting magic does something bad. All these do things bad, except getting along with others. That, I guess that's a, another uh, interaction penalty with NPCs. I, I don't care, so I'm getting along with others worse. There you go. Your reputation has changed as, as follows. Scholars higher. Okay. Name. Let's see here. We're Death Knight. Where to say Galthran? There you go. Okay, let's get a Galthran like. Eh. <laughs> Slim pickings on these. Uh, there we go. These avatars. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that look. There you go. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. All right. And now, if that wasn't enough, we've got another kind of like um, Baldur's Gate 2 style. Or Baldur's Gate style roll here. We uh, each of these stats can get plus. I think it's zero to ten, and then um, I think the actual bonus points can be 
as as some I, i'm not sure the range it's up to 14 i think so you can get a lot of extra points here if you're patient we're gonna you know stats are important slightly so we're gonna re-roll here until we get something respectable that no looked like look that was fool's gold right there it looked like we had something so mm, no this is just a matter of um patience really and sharp eyes oh that looked like mm, yeah, that's that's actually kind of not quite there, but that was almost there. No. I've seen some pretty good bonuses here. I've seen some pretty good rolls. That is... No, not quite. Sometimes it's difficult to tell. You have to kind of really quickly go over these and kind of add them up. <laughs> saw one I saw a low stat there that looked good though this is probably the most fun of, 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 of any of these type of games is rolling your stats right same with Baldur's Gate um, that's that's close that's close that was close hmm that's ooh well speed's a little low but that i mean i think that's actually pretty good speed's minus six this is max this is max these these four are maxed right here this is yeah that's pretty good i mean it's not perfect obviously but that's pretty good actually no i don't want to go speed we want to go endurance that's all right. That's all right. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I, I wanted to kind of do the math on that to see just how close that was, but that's actually pretty good. Okay. Um, I'll take that. All right, so strength 83, you know, uh, these these little changes, I level them up anyway. Okay, so there, there we go. Um, yeah. Okay, so this, um, again, remember... You don't want to pump stats too high individually. You want to spread out the points so they're, you know, the average is as low as possible because it's the highest skills. It's the highest, um, yeah, the highest skills are the ones that count toward your level up max, basically. Let's see. So here we want to equally kind of distribute things. I guess we can do like that again okay yeah i'm gonna have to okay all right and and then i'm gonna add these up really quick and see what i got here as far as a max level okay we can't go over 16 basically dodging so we can we can do 16 there if we want critical strike dodging climbing i don't really care about climbing medical really dodging and I'm gonna have to put something in yeah, jumping there you go okay let's let's add these up so we got 16 down here 16 for the minor um, 22 22 is 44 plus 16 that is 60 okay so 60 and then i've got uh 32 and 32 64 then 31 is 95 95 and 60 is 155 right yeah 155 i think that's actually pretty good i think that's a i think i think we get level 30 with that i think so Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping so, but I'm not going back and doing it over again. So that's what we got. Yeah, I think I think we get 
from what I remember, I think that's about a hundred. Uh, I think that's about a level thirty. Okay, players' reflexes determine the overall speed of the game. So monsters will like if you put it on very low, the number of swings the monsters will do every so many seconds will be less. You put the reflexes on very high, the monsters will attack you more frequently, right? Um, but you also get a and further bonus to your leveling your skill speed. So your skills will be... I'm not sure what magnitude the bonus is. I think it's pretty small, but um, anyway, you get a further lessening of the time you need to level the skill. Therefore, it's worth it because the monsters aren't really a threat anyway. So put them on very high. All right, so there we go. Let's go. Four hundred years after Tiber Septim's reign, the beginning will meet the end and the bloody circle will close at the Empire of Cambriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim the Seventh cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion one indomitable power hides itself, but not forever. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor. And your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the Queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. All right, and that's the intro. You wake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you were in a boat en route to Daggerfall when the storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like the uh, like a male thick creature. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water to a promontory, prom, promontory, promontory rock. There you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. You feel fear of uh, your fear of being buried, buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there's a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you begin the uh, you can begin the Emperor's quest. Okay, no tutorial. All right, so here we go. This is what we look like. Um, let's see here. Don't I have? Uh, I start with something. Okay, so I I, I have uh, an iron longsword which goes on the floor, and an ebony dagger. <clears throat> we could use the ebony dagger, but, um, no. <laughs> uh, 
No, we are just going to hold on to that and sell it later. And there's our book. How much is this worth? Is 580 gold? Eh, okay. Brotherhood of Darkness, or Brothers of Darkness. Yeah, like I said, because we're going to level up hand-to-hand, -hand, we don't actually want to equip the Ebony Dagger and use it. But, uh, as you can see, it does 5 to 10 damage and has a pretty good bonus to hit. So, um, if you do use it, you'll be able to get out of here pretty easily. Um, anyway, so... Start with a quick save, and uh, let's go. I've got my trusty fist, which um, is kind of slow right now. Let's go ahead and beat up on this rat. Let's uh, pick up the 72 gold pieces. And, oh my god, why am I really lagging here like this? What's going on? Wouldn't think that uh, my computer would have trouble running this game, but it is a little bit laggy sometimes. Ouch. Save versus spell. Okay, Imp just died. Potion recipe, no thanks. You know what? I might have to shut some stuff down. I'm not sure why this is so laggy. Anyway. Basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of just getting some, uh, getting some levels for my hand-to-hand -hand skill. We're going to be... So, there's several ways you can play this game, right? There's, well, more, way more than several. Um, you could try do things the doing things the kind of legit way, like you could you know earn money the the uh, normal way by going into dungeons, grabbing stuff, and coming out and selling it. Or you could do things like taking out loans and never repaying them. <laughs> um, I'm going to do kind of a combination of legit and combination of cheese, right? Um, I'm going to earn my money the old-fashioned way by grabbing stuff off of people that I kill in dungeons and selling it. I'm also going to do some other more sketchy things like um, I'm going to try to level up my hand-to-hand -hand skill later on by killing town guards because they're probably the only guys that later on are going to be able to withstand my hits enough to actually swing enough to level up the skill. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to be I'm going to be using this very dungeon to gain a lot of money for, you know, and, and level up my hand-to-hand -hand skill for a while. So anyway, I'm going down here. I just basically one shot of that thief. Steel broadsword, not bad. Oh, and I need to um, equip some stuff here. There we go. Okay, so now I have a steel broadsword. Uh, everything steel and above I'm going to be keeping for selling, and as long as it's a weapon. Armor, I'm not, because uh, it's inconvenient for me to travel to an armor store where I can sell that stuff. Um, whereas, I've got... I've got easy access to places where I can sell the weapons. So, I'm just picking up, you know, weapons. You know what? This is annoying, this this lag. I'm going to see if I can do something about this, and I will be right back. All right, hopefully that's better. Um, feels a little bit smoother. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I <laughs> I lowered the quality of, of uh, graphics, I guess, which doesn't really seem to make much difference. This still looks like crap to me anyway, but whatever. Yeah, feels a little bit better. I don't know. <laughs> and no, no visible difference. Punched you right in the face. Steel battle axe. Steel, I already have that. Leather boots, leather greaves. Leather ripe. Yeah, I think I already have all that. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh. Okay, there's something that I forgot. Let's rest for, uh... Let's rest for six hours. My first level up... Okay, happens with only two skill increases. So I gotta be careful there. Endurance. Jumping, stealth, dodging, running, hand to hand, critical strike. Yeah. Actually, that was a little bit overboard. Let's see, jumping, running, dodging. Running's right there. Hmm. Hmm. 
Let me see if I can reload that. And, and, and rest. Really? I don't remember being right there. That's weird. Might be too late here. It might not matter. Let's see here. There are enemies nearby. What? What the freaking bear? Where'd the bear come from? Ah. Okay, I think the bear just appeared there or something. Let me try this again. I don't want to be, like, too uptight about this. But <laughs> um, it does matter, like I said. I'd be really disappointed if I only got to level... Dude, go away, 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 go away. I'm gonna go all the way back. All the way back. Don't bother me. Six hours. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, what do we get here? Major. Eh, I think it, um. Whatever. Yeah. I, I think we can't escape that. Oh, well. Okay. Like I said, we'll just hope that we can still... Uh, we can still get as many levels as we want here. All right. Well, that was my first level up. So, um, And like I said, you only need two skill advances to actually get there, as opposed to every other level up which where you need 15. Um, anyway... <clears throat> I don't think it... Actually, let me see if... I don't think it's going to matter. I could do the math here. I don't want to be, like, uh, too uptight about this, but you know how I am. <laughs> this stuff bothers me. So, hand-to-hands, the 33... Yeah. I guess we'll just go with it. Hey, if we only get level 29, then we only get level 29. I'll just deal with it. I'll, I'll be so pissed, though. But anyway, let's go. I need to be a little bit more. Holy crap, it feels like I'm moving real slow. <gasps> Am I moving real slow? I might, might be moving real slow. Silver, Diakatana, nice. Chain, okay. Iron, chain is better than iron, isn't it? Nope, iron is better than chain, okay. Throw that in the trash. They're greaves, I don't have those yet. Hand-to-hand -hand skill improved. Yep, absolutely. Boy, I feel slow. I am slow. I'm running? Boy, I feel slow. wee -yaw! Oh, nice. Jump kick dirt. Steel. Okay, I can't wear steel, so... Because remember... Or wait, can I? Yeah, okay, I can't work still. And it's armor, so I'm not going to pick it up. Alright. Yeah, it feels like I'm so slow, but maybe I'm used to the, the test run I did where I'm really, really fast. You'd think a bear would be harder than this, but it's actually kind of a pushover. <laughs> a grizzly bear, no less. Okay. Hand to hand went up again, along with a bunch of other stuff. Alright. Die. Steel saber. Okay. Right pauldrons, I'll take that. And a round shield. That adds a little bit of uh, plus two to armor. So that's not bad. 
something over here. And I cannot freaking see. You know what? I've got a problem. I cannot see. There's glare coming in from my curtains. So I've got to fix that really quickly. I don't have a light spell right now, so the contrast between the glare that's or the, the light that's coming in from my curtains and uh, the very low light on this screen is causing me to not be able to see over to see very well. Alright, let's go over here. There's an orc over here. That's actually pretty dangerous. Seems to get a lot of attacks, and he's got a pretty nasty sword. There you go. And he dropped a steel longsword. And a chain... No, I already have that. Okay, never mind. Um... No, I came through there, right? Or did I? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Let's go over here. Not sure what spell he cast at me. I think it was like maybe probably paralyze, I think, but I'm immune to paralyze. Boom! Boom! Right in the face. It's over here. Nothing. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh, I've been here. Never mind. Well. Okay. Have I been in here? Nope. There's a slight rude song. Worth 513 gold. I'll pick it up. Or so it says. Okay, there should be a skeleton down here. Okay, maybe not. The skeleton didn't spawn. There are enemies nearby. Let's go in here. Giant bat just died. Okay, good for him. Okay, I'm probably ready to level up again as far as my uh, as far as my skills go. Steel longsword. There you go. six hours. So you level up, like, you use your skills. There you go. Hand to hand. You use your skills and you rest for some small amount of time. Like, usually six hours. And your skills will, you'll get the level up. Uh, if you use your skill enough. Where am I going? I shouldn't be going down there. Um, that's how it works. And the skills don't level up by more than one each time that you level them up. So, it's it can be a very slow progression. It's it's best to combine like leveling with doing something else. Like in my case, I'm leveling and I'm getting money. I'm I'm picking up items that I'm going to sell. So, um, you know, dual purpose kind of a thing. It it makes it move a little faster. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna go get out of the dungeon here. I've got to go get a wagon, basically. Yeah. Hey, they're fighting. You're dead. You're dead. Both of you are dead. Let me see. I, I doubt if I'm going to level up a, my hand-to-hand -hand skill, but you never know. That yeah, stealth and running. Stealth is, uh... You know, there's so many skills in this game that are... are completely unneeded, don't really add anything, but you could do them if you want. Stealth is one of those, like, it's easy enough to just walk up to somebody's face and punch them, you know, punch them down like I just did with that skeleton. Um, but, you know, I guess for added benefit, or maybe if you make a particularly weak character, you might want to sneak around them and actually hit them in the back. Um, and get a bonus, you get, you know, I think your hand-to-hand -hand gives you times three dan- or no, you're, um, sorry, you're hand-to-hand. -hand. Um, I think stealth, if you sneak up on somebody, hit them in the back, um, I think it's a times three damage bonus. 
So three times, three times the uh, base damage or something, which uh, who knows what that means. But anyway, that's what I read. So it is, it is going to give you more damage, but enemies are so weak, and no oh crap, enemies are so weak as this guy kills me, uh, and um, it takes so much work to actually sneak up on somebody like that. That so what, you know? All right. So we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to the town, get a wagon, because... Oh. <laughs> because you can only carry so much, particularly when it comes to gold. You can only carry so much, and then you can't carry any more because you just... You know, you've got a weight limit, and the weight limit seems really, really small to me. Um, anyway, okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to run to the nearest town here. We've got to sell our stuff, we got to buy a wagon, and then we got to come back. Man, I feel slow. Man, I feel slow. I, I am slow. We are slow. Very slow. Running uphill. Yeah, so just punching the air is not leveling up my um, unarmed skill. I've got to actually have a target. Just FYI. On the other hand, just running and jumping does level up your running and jumping skills, so. Um, jumping, it's cool to do. It's cool when you can jump really high, especially when you have the jump spell on. It's not it's not needed, though. <laughs> but it's damn cool. Um, I like it a lot. Um, and that's what this game is about, basically, because it's not really challenging, and, uh, you know, you got to kind of make your own fun by uh, doing things like jumping around really high and running really fast. Okay, hold on. I gotta find some shops. There, okay, there's some. Superior General Store. So we're gonna go sell our crap here. Maybe. There you go. Instances, yeah, yeah, whatever. Actually, I don't know. I've heard that it's, uh, it gives you a negative penalty when you talk to NPCs with your, like, weapons out. I'm not sure if it applies to these guys, but I'm going to put my weapon away. Let's go ahead and sell. So the Ebony Dagger sells for how much? 762. Well, that's the actual value, but he's not going to give you the actual value. He's going to rip you off. Um, so anyway, that's how much I'm getting. Wait a minute. We had some items here. We had some books. Ooh, a book sold for a lot. Books sell for a lot. I'm kind of surprised. Sell? He's only going to give me a fraction of what the cost is, though. Fourteen fifty-nine. It's not great, but it's enough for us to get what we need. Okay, so I'm going to buy a wagon. I'm not going to buy a horse, because I'm probably going to be running faster than that horse anyway. Um, yeah, you could buy a horse. However, if you have running high running speed, I think you run faster than the horse anyway, so screw it. All right, so in addition to that, let's see here. That's, um, we want to go up, I think. There are, like, a billion, um, towns in this game. Some of them are custom-made. Some of them, I think, are just randomly generated. Um, it's overwhelming, quite frankly. This is the pig and cat. This is where I usually buy a room. I usually buy a room here. I don't know why, it's just... No, I don't want that, no. Room. Rent a room for... 200 days? Forever? 837 gold. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's rent a room for 100 days. How much gold do I have? I have like 2,000. Okay, fine. Room for 100 days, just so I... 
don't have to worry about it. Let's see if these guys are open. They are. Join guild! Yes, you are worthy to join the Mage's Guild as an apprentice. You can use the Spellmaker to get training in any of the guild skills. Later, you will become eligible to use the library, buying magical items you've been making your own. Are you interested in joining? Yes, I am. Henceforth, you will be known as Galthran, Apprentice of the Mage's Guild. It will take patience and hard effort to gain access to all the guild offers, my child. But I can now give you access to our trainers and our Spellmaker. Too much power and too little time has destroyed many a man and woman. Okay, yeah. So... We need the Mage Guild for several things. We need the Mage Guild for spells. We need the Mage Guild for the item maker. And that might be it. But um, we get access to the spell maker right now. The item maker is quite a ways away. We have to actually earn that. But right now, I've got to do some things here. We've got to... Well, first of all, we're going to want... Um, Teleport. Teleport. That's it. Uh, teleport's pretty disappointing in my opinion. You have to cast it to set it somewhere. It's not like Lloyd's Beacon, say, uh, Might and Magic. You know, you don't get several of them. You can't just cast it and then recall or, you know, return to that spot. You have to keep constantly recasting it to set it and then casting it to come back. Each time you come back, it it goes away. You have to reset it again. It's pretty annoying and uh, uh, irritating. That's one quality of life thing I would like is just let me set it somewhere and don't take it away so I don't have to constantly recast it because I've, I've forgotten to recast it so many times and ended up having to, like, you know, console my way out of a dungeon because of that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get an icon here. Yeah, it looks like a... Okay, I'll take that icon. Um, teleport. Okay, that's the biggest thing I need. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, light might help. Damn, that is expensive. <laughs> yeah, five, five per level. So, five rounds per level. Um, if your level gets high enough, like, you know, casting it for, casting a spell like this for five rounds per level, that'll last a long time. I'm pretty low level, but, um, yeah, whatever. Take it. Um, sometimes light is, can really come in handy. Let's see, climbing. Climbing, jumping. Let's cast climbing, jumping. Five rounds per level jumping oh wait a minute no I'm sorry that's not what I want to do um let's cast heal fatigue um four per level take away climbing heal fatigue I get some kind of like maybe something like that. No, no, no. Some of the icons in here don't really don't really work for me. But you do need a general like heal fatigue spell. And uh regeneration is the other one that I usually get. Regeneration, there it is. So, duration, yeah, 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 three, four, magnitude, five per level, or five rounds, ten, there we go. Regenerate ten health, health points for five rounds per level. That'll work for now. Okay, bye. Whoops, did I give that... I didn't give that the right icon, did I? I'm going to have to... Yep, I didn't. I did give it just a general icon. I'm going to get rid of this. Shock. Chameleon. Slow falling. Regeneration. I'm going to have to redo that because I don't like that. I don't like that icon. 
Uh, here we go. Right there. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give it that icon. Um, later on, we'll combine these spells into, like, one spell, like, probably. But for now... just cast them individually. I don't have any money. Oh, oh my god, I'm out of money. Okay, we're not doing that. Looks like we're out of money, so we're gonna have to go get some more money. That's fine. Alright, so we're going back to... Uh, let's see here. We're going back to the dungeon that we were just at, actually. I think it was this one? Privateer Soul, there it is. And I'm dumb. I forgot to <laughs> forgot to set something up there. Um, let's let's travel again. Goth way garden. Yes, travel. Okay, whatever. And somehow I got a level, and I'm not even sure how I got a level, but whatever. Okay, let's up speed. You reach, you're approached by a young page who smiles and recognizes in recognition and does not ask your name before he hands you a letter. Trust you to all your questions. Uh, he merely responds with a blank look and smile. Okay, it looks like, um, it looks like I did get a, uh, some level ups there. Okay. Well, let's look at the letter that he gave me. I think I know which one it is. Oh, no. Okay, it's Mergaya. All right, we're going to ignore that for now because there's no time limit as far as I know on that one. Instead, Mage's Guild. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to go back up here and I'm going to cast... I'm going to cast my teleport right here. Anchor. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go do this and going to go back to Privateer's Hold. There we go. Crossed a well-trodden path. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and save it. Here's the idea. We continuously go in here. We continuously level up our hand-to-hand -hand skills, and we loot the enemies for stuff that we can sell. And that's the idea here. So, as I'm not hitting this guy, I'm gaining levels in my hand-to-hand. -hand. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. There you go. Well, that might be enough. There are enemies nearby. Okay. Can't rest. Gotta go eliminate those enemies. Is that, is that the rat over here? Is that what's going on? You know what? Let's freaking see. Let's, let's cast light. There, that's better. Ooh, that was laggy. There you go. Okay, that's probably that was probably the rat stopping me from uh, resting there. Let's see if I get a level. Got it. All right, so we're going up here. And there's a skeleton in here. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Generate. No. That's right. I couldn't make it because I didn't have enough money. Okay. Eh, iron flail. Nope. Try better next time. Try harder. Ooh. Iron die katana. Steel. No, no, no. Come on. Come on! I think I have three levels, and remember, I do get a slight bonus to damage these guys and hit. It's not... Are you kidding me? I gotta play it a lot safer now here. He's almost got me. Probably gonna level from this, though. 
too slow. That's right. Ooh. Ooh. St ooh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Let's see if I can level off of that. Probably did. Yep, there it is. Critical strike running hand to hand. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's right, Brad. Get punched in the head. Hmm. I think I want to go down here. Wait, hold on. I got totally confused there. Ah, oh, there we go. Thought I was supposed to kill somebody over here. Steel staff, huh? Other grease, I already have that. Okay, steel flail. Chain left now, I already have that. Why, Mr. Bats? You're dead. Oh, there's another one. There you go. Um, uh, anything in here? Okay, let's see if we can rest. That might be another, another level in the hand-to-hand -hand skill. It is, indeed, indeed. Okay, not much over there. I want to fight like human enemies because the loot's better, or humanoid. That doesn't hurt. Look, I'm tanking it. I'm face tanking it. Okay, why is it? Come on. Okay, I gotta get serious now. <laughs> Man! Okay! I don't know why you're so hard to hit. Come on. There you go. I got you that time. There we are. One more. Didn't didn't drop anything though. Can I rest here? I can. Let's go. Okay, hand-to-hand -hand skill up again. Alright, well, you know, that's fine. One enemy got my hand-to-hand -hand skill up another point. That's pretty good. I don't care, you know. Enjoy it while it lasts, because it's gonna get a lot harder. There you go. Iron broadsword, nothing. Oh, except I got a little bit better armor there. A little bit better armor. That's always nice. You, you're not even a threat. Steel. Okay, steel boots. No, nope, can't wear steel. Arms the rules, arms the brakes. I don't think I leveled up hand-to-hand, -hand, but I'm going to check. I did! Oh, it's so easy, it's so easy! Which is a good thing, because uh, the game would not keep my... Holy crap, dude. The game would not keep my interest if it was hard. Really? I hope I saved. I think I did. Oh, okay. Have to go do the orc again. I thought that the 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 drops were spawned when they die, but it looks like no, it looks like the drops are spawned uh, when they actually like when the dungeon spawns. That's right, that was, guys, that was steel. And I went over here and I died. Oh, that guy was easy that time, okay. 
Field guy to Oh, an elven. I can actually. No, nope. okay. No, I'm prohibited. El I'm prohibited elven. But I'm not going to pick it up because uh, it's a pain in the ass for me to sell unless I go to another town. I don't feel like going to another town. Yeah. Got the drop on you, rat. Got the drop on you. Enemies nearby. Oh, there yeah. is. Get the drop on that rat. He didn't see me coming. Uh, steel saber. That's new. That's new. Slowly, slowly upgrading our actual equipment here, which is kind of nice. Almost backstabbed the thief. Steel Warhammer. And... Potion of Purification. I wonder what that does. Worth 500 gold. Let's pick it up, though. Yeah. Could say, hey, wait a minute. That, that shield, tower shield, is better than a round shield, I think. I think. Plus four to armor, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, enemies nearby, really? Left hand equipped. What do you mean left hand? What are you doing? I didn't say to equip anything. Who is, who is stopping me from... Oh, there you are. Alright. There we go. There it is. Hand to hand, griddle strike, running, dodging. I'm feeling faster. I'm feeling a lot faster. Still attacking slow, but that's going to change. Let's uh, head on out and respawn the dungeon, because all you have to do to respawn the dungeon is just walk on out, walk back in. <laughs> if only it was that simple in real life, huh? What are trying to do. I'm trying to get. Get out of my face. Ruh. There you go. Kind of hard to jump on that thing. Yeah. Actually, I guess I could just... Uh, no, teleport wouldn't... No, teleport wouldn't take me out. You know, I might consider... Instead of teleporting to town, just teleporting all the way out. Pass a stack of firewood. Horses passed here. I wonder what that means. Horses passed here recently. Alright, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and transfer this crap to my wagon. Alright, so when that wagon gets full, we'll head back to town. Actually, I think I will teleport. I think I'll set an anchor here because it's probably going to be faster for me to just teleport in and out of this place when I when I I'm through with it. He's nearby. Dang it! I don't like resting out here because you get it interrupted a lot. But let's try it. I did. Ha! No interruptions. Up that speed, baby. Oh, ho, ho. Speed's getting... We're, we're getting faster. I can feel it. You killed a rat for me, huh? Good for you. There she blows. Come on. We should be over this. We should be over the point where skeletons are a problem. Eventually, we'll get so powerful that uh, we'll just come in here and like one-shot everything. And after after that happens, it's time to move on because we're gonna need we're we're still gonna need to level that hand-to-hand -hand up there. Um, 
Stamina. Potion of Stamina. This is only worth 25 gold, though, so I'm not going to pick it up. Oh, what the? I wasn't ready for you. Skeletons are very hard to hit for some reason. A lot of armor class or something. Silver. Oh, silver longsword. You don't say. I don't know if I have a level up in my hand-to-hand -hand coming, but I might. Yep, I do. Where is that right now? 46. Okay. Yeah, we're moving along at a fair clip. Is there a rat in here? There should be a rat in here. Yeah, yeah. Eh, it's supposed to be humans in there. Yeah. Punching him right in the face. Right in the freaking face. Is there still. Oh, there's still a bat there. How is there still a. Holy crap! <laughs> Steel, Elven, nice. Okay, there we go. Now, probably not gonna. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, I think I. I, I think I probably leveled up hand to hand. Did I? I did. You can just feel it sometimes. Uh, no, down here first. Hey, Mr. Orc. Hey, Mr. Oh, two hits this time. Hmm. Getting old. No, I'm getting I'm getting stronger. One hit that time. Yeah, we're starting to Ooh, Elven, two Elven items. Also, I'd like to look at that helmet a little bit better. Alright, where am I going? There, we go. there are enemies nearby. Really? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, didn't get a hand-to-hand -hand level up. Probably the next enemy. Probably the next enemy. Oh, hello. Three of them. Okay, that'll that'll do it. Will you please die? Okay, you got anything? Iron, broad, steel. Okay, that should be it. Let's go ahead and get that level up and get out of here. There it is, hand to hand. Okay, so teleport, teleport. Let's go ahead and shove stuff in that wagon. Whoops. There it is. Okay, and that's it. I guess just save. There we go. Oh wait, no. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> I always forget this. All right, anchor. There you go. Now we go back in. Punched you right in the back. Where's the rat? Where's the little rat? There you are. Silver Mace. Okay. Not five hours. Okay, there it is. Six hours. Ooh. Where are you at? Boom! Iron, steel, chain. Oh, chain boots? Do I have chain? I might have chain boots. Hold on. Take a look at that again. How dare you. How dare you stand up to me like that. 
Steel longsword. Did I did I have chain boots? What do I have? No, I have leather boots. There you go. Okay, cool. So, like I said, slowly upgrading my equipment. Upgrading equipment, gaining money, and leveling at the same time. Yeah. Another, another time there's a rat spawning. Yeah. Very disappointing. Okay, hand-to-hand -hand skill level up again. It's kind of a moving target because uh, depending on how high your hand-to-hand -hand skill is, it'll be harder and harder to level it up. So, like, how many enemies do you actually need to kill? Or how, how many... How many enemies do you need to kill? Because it's it, you know it's it's based on not the kill rate but the uh, the actual use rate. So if it only if you start one shotting enemies, then you're gonna have to kill quite a few enemies to actually get a level up on your hand to hand skill because it's yeah. So it's um it's difficult to to guess at when you actually need to rest, but I'm doing a pretty good job of it right now. Like I said, once once we get up around 70 hand to hand. Then we're gonna start need to uh, start needing to do some bad stuff like um, town killing. Oh, okay, I already have chain greens. So that's why. All right. Not town killing, guard killing. I guess technically. Yeah. That technically count town killing, I suppose. Um, steel longsword. Yeah. All right. Cool. This sometimes has some interesting stuff here. Enemies nearby, probably right here. Ah, yes. Yeah. All right. Ah, nice. Critical hit is up again. Where am I going now? Ah. Yeah. And you, sir. Yeah. Silver Warhammer. Ooh, an Elven Curious. Unfortunately, not using it and not selling it. Can't can't use it because of my yeah. restrictions. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, got you in the back. How ironic. Backstabbed a thief. I have those. I need some iron, like, greaves or something. Potion of healing. It's only worth 50 gold, and so what? I can't think of, like, any reason that I'd drag that around, to be honest. Like, healing's so cheap in this game, as far as spells go. Yeah. You can rest if you really get, get yeah. in trouble. Yeah. You know what? Uh, that's probably good. Let's go ahead and rest, see if we got the level up, and then get out of here. Oh! Oh, there's... Yeah, there's a... I didn't, didn't mean level up, I meant skill level up. Primary skill, 52 on hand-to-hand. -hand. We're getting there. All right, let's teleport out. Reset the teleport. Drag that stuff in my wagon. Wagon is... Huh, not actually that full yet, is it? Why my room's getting so hot. Yeah. Ah. Let's go take 
here, steel dagger, and a potion recipe. So, I think, I'm not sure, I guess you can mix your, either mix your own potions or take them, take the ingredients to someone to mix them. I don't think there's any potions that give you anything permanent, so in general, I'd say they're not even useful. Chain Greaves, that's what I'm looking for, right? No, we already had Chain Greaves, okay. Steel, can't use steel. Hello, Skeleton. Don't mind if I hit you in the back while you're doing something. Silver Flail. Man, I'm sweating. I'm not, I'm not sure why it's so hot in here all of a sudden. This game's making me sweat. That excitement from leveling up. There's a bear! It's a double bear. Why do they always spawn like the same of, of uh, like the same thing in both rooms, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. I wonder how this thing's set up. I know that these dungeons, like this dungeon is custom, but most of the dungeons are like pieced together from different, you know, dungeon sets or something. Oops. Um, I don't know. It's not a... It's not... <laughs> I, I was about to say it's not a bad system, but it actually is a terrible system. Because <laughs> it's... The dungeons just feel... They feel randomly generated. It's not... A, like, it's not a Diablo. Like, Diablo had pretty good randomly generated dungeons. This game... Nah. <laughs> this game's not so good. This game, this game feels like the stuff is randomly generated. Yeah, I think Diablo, yeah, Diablo, Di the first Diablo really did that the best, I'd say. That's kind of the, the gold standard as far as I'm concerned. This game is, uh, I, I don't know, did this game come out? This game might have came out the same time as Diablo, so maybe there's no excuse, huh? I don't remember. What was this, 96? What was Diablo? I think it was similar. Yeah. Yeah, this game might not have an excuse for being so crappy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the actual, like, uh, here's the thing. Like, there's so much misinformation about this game and how it actually works. Um... And it's caused partly by the game itself, because, like, the stat descriptions... Governs encumbrance, weapon damage, and increasing strength-related skills. Yeah. Okay, so that last part. It governs increasing strength-related skills. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't do any of that. But it says right there in the game description that that's what it does, but it doesn't. The skills will increase or decrease, or no, no, increase as fast as, you know, your, uh, whatever that slider was in the beginning, whatever that thing's called. That's basically the only thing that, that governs how fast they, they level up, plus whether they're primary, major, or minor, or miscellaneous. Primary being the fastest, of course, miscellaneous being the slowest, but that's really the only thing. But it says right in the description that this has an effect on how fast your your skills level up but it's 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 a complete lie it's unbelievable it just lie to your face in this game yeah it's crazy <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, it's starting to get where I'm one hitting, one hitting these guys, one or two hits, and barely missing now. Yep, just died. Uh, the other nice thing about using hand to hand is you don't have to worry about people uh, being immune to your weapon. Hand to hand uh, can hit anything, whereas like certain enemies will be immune to like. Um, well, like iron and, you know, you, you need, or you need, like, better than steel or something. Ebony will hit everything, obviously. Daedric will hit everything. But, um, you don't have to worry about any of that with, with fists. Okay, let's teleport out. Um, let's see here. Wagon. Whoops. Keep, keep forgetting which button it is to actually throw stuff in there. And let me not forget this. Teleport anchor. There you go. What in the world? Oh, it might have been the first time I've actually seen that guy cast that spell. The, the enemies will scale to your level to some extent. Although, from what I understand, only the humans completely scale to your level. Like, enemies will... Well, I think enemies have, like, set... Um, set levels, and, you know, if you're fairly high level, you'll get a certain enemy. But I think humans... Humans will just scale, completely scale to your level. So humans will actually get the strongest if you get, a, get to be a high level, from what I understand. Um, so that, that imp might have been, but holy crap, centaur, really, <laughs> I've never seen that guy in here, Let's see if I can get a rest in again, there we go, hand to hand bonus, there you go, hand to hand level up. Yeah. Technic technically, I think humans can get the strongest be if you get to be a high level, I think. That's how it works. Ooh, a dwarven shortbow. Wait, hold on. What level am I? I am level 5. Yeah, okay. And yeah, random loot, and uh, it can be pretty good. I don't know if they, they get the Diedrich um, if you stay here long enough. If you come in here at a high enough level, I'm not sure if they spawn Diedrich items, but uh, that was a Dwarven item. That's pretty far up there. So it should sell for something. Right, die, bear. Double bear again. bat. Oh, you want some of this, huh? I'm just gonna kick you right off. And he, <laughs> he died. He fell off and died from fall damage. That's kind of funny. It's kind of a nice detail. He doesn't just fall and nothing happens. He falls and he takes fall damage. It's kind of funny. Ooh, I just freaking backstabbed. Alright. Can I rest in here? Yes, I can. Should we get that hand to hand uh, bonus there? There it is. Yep. You want some? There you go. You got some. Steel flail. Two rats in here. Backstabbed him, kind of. Archer. Oh, he's an archer, huh? Didn't look like an archer to me. Pearl. A pearl is only worth 150 gold. That doesn't seem right. 
But whatever. I guess, I don't know, maybe pearl is an ingredient. Maybe it's not supposed to be just something you sell. I actually don't know. Elven mace, I'll take it. Nearby enemies, are there really? There are enemies nearby, okay. I don't believe you, but let me go back this way. Okay, hand-to-hand -hand skill up, there you go. That's what I wanted to see, that's what I wanted to see. Probably time to warp out. There you go. Okay. Wagon. 239 out of 750. Put that anchor there. Let's go back in. level up speed maxed okay so now that speed's maxed the next thing I usually do is focus on getting int up there and then uh, after int it'll be strength and then after that it'll be agility and then after that we can do whatever we want basically I guess it'll be luck I suppose so I'm now max speed so I'm now hitting swinging pretty fast here as you can see, still I think, I'm not sure if this is how I'm, if, if I max out. Yeah, I think this is max. Yeah, it doesn't get any faster with hand-to-hand. -hand. Uh, right pauldron. Oh, heck yeah. Well, actually, it's the same thing, but it looks better. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you actually swing faster the higher your hand-to-hand. I think the only way to get a faster hand-to-hand -hand swing is to be a werewolf. Though I could be wrong, I've never actually been a werewolf. Yep, got another hand-to-hand -hand bonus. Boom! Seems to really get get a lot faster during those like last ten points in speed. Yeah, we're starting to get to the point where these guys are no longer enough of a challenge to get me enough swings, so I might have to go to killing guards at this point. We'll see. Once I get to round 70 is probably when that's going to happen. I'm not sure if I'm there yet. I'm probably about 60-something. Mr. Skellington? Steel, steel, mace. Here you go. Alright. Let's see. Did I get, did I get me it? Get me what I'm looking for? That get got me what I'm looking for. Okay, so we're still on here. 61%. Okay, yeah.
Ooh, that's actually quite a bit of money. Yeah, what they drop starts to get better the higher your level. Dwarven, uh, I have to, yeah, yeah, it's something that's, again, it's armor. I don't, I, I've got to, like, go to an armor shop specifically to sell the armor. I don't want to do that. I'll just leave it. Okay, hand to hand up. Let's get out of here. Wagon. Throw that crap in the wagon. Teleport. Anchor. Let's go ahead and save, just because I'm not sure when the last time I did that was. Never know. Something can happen. A horrible crash or a bug. Power outage. Things like that. So that, that would be 62 skill. Like I said, 70, and we're going for uh, we're going out of here, and we're going to go beat up some guards for the rest of our hand to hand. We actually can't get hand to hand. It's just it's so weird this game how this works. Um, we don't want to get hand to hand to 100. We want to get it to 99. Oh, a Mirthril Tanto. Hey, starting to get there, huh? We want to get the we want to get the um, hand to hand skill to dwarven shortbow, yeah, ninety nine. Because if we get it to a hundred, if you get any of your primary skills to a hundred, once you do that, uh, you can only level up any other skill. I think to ni uh, to uh, ninety five. So, but on the other hand, if you just get it to ninety nine, then you can level up. Uh, any non-primary skill to 100. Um, yeah, so we want it. We want to get it to 99, and then we'll go level um, other skills. And then once we have those good and leveled as far as we want, then we'll go back and finish off getting from 99 to 100. Because that's my primary method of doing damage is going to be my hand-to-hand, -hand, so I want that maxed for sure. I just don't want it maxed right away. And then at some point, we'll actually play the game, right? Hey, what was that? Yeah, I think I had that. Wait a minute. You know, go through dungeons and stuff. Which is the worst part of this game by far. <laughs> the leveling part is the most fun. Even even with this screwy system. Silver Saber, there you go. Almost got the backstab right there. Let's see if I got one. I got a hand-to-hand -hand bonus yet? I did. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, wagon. Got that stuff in the wagon. Teleport again. Anchor. Yeah, yeah. 
don't think I got a level, but I'm gonna check. I did. Never mind. So, what is that? We're like 65. We're almost there. Ooh, baby. 65. Don't say. Or a steel short sword. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there's a book. Nah, it's only 300 gold, so it says. I don't think it's enough to actually pick up. I'm not sure what the actual weapons I'm picking up are worth, but uh, I'll stick with the weapons for now. Pick up a book if it's worth something. Elven shortbow, wow. Again, I don't think I got a level, but whoops. Need six hours, not five. Oh, I did get a level, okay. And I got only four points because. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, you get four to six points to distribute, depending on just randomness. Seems like I've been getting a lot of four lately. It's a little worrisome. feel like I'm getting screwed over a little bit. sword? Wait a minute. Okay, no, I have that. Iron Curious, yeah, that's the same thing I have. So I'm getting, I'm getting two levels per run here, looks like. Two or three? No, maybe it's three. Three levels per run. Yep, three levels per run so far. All right, well... Better than nothing. Okay, let's wagon our crap. It's about half full. thing that drives me nuts about this game is the carry capacity. It feels like it's so low. Um, and, and gold actually does take up some of your carry capacity. I mean, they try to be realistic in some parts, and then it's totally unrealistic in others. It just doesn't... It's very cons inconsistent. Yeah, I suppose in real life, carrying around a bunch of gold is going to weigh you down. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about the fact that, uh, like, the towns are completely empty? <laughs> what about all that other realism stuff that doesn't work? But no, you want me to, want me to suffer with the, the money situation. I can't even carry around, like, paper currency or something. This is why paper currency was invented. Saber, ivory, uh, yeah. 
Okay, I'm starting to meet uh, night blades, I guess is what they're called. Starting to meet like mages, human mages, rare symbol. Oh, this stuff is worth crap, man. Forgot to do this. Yeah, there you go. Hand to hand, critical strike, running, and all that good crap. Die bat. Oh, an enchanted shortbow. Okay. It's going to get sold. I don't really care what the enchantment is on it, but uh, it's a thought that counts. Come on. You know you want some of this. Elven flail. Elven white right pauldron. Mm. Would like to be able to use that. What spell are they casting? Who knows? It doesn't tell me. Be nice information, right? Yes. <laughs> this game is not about giving you information, though. This game is about giving you misinformation. yet. We're going to find out. We are. Probably good enough. Let's get out of here. Okay, wagon is about three fourths of the way full. Or no, two thirds of the way full, let's say. It's not going to get all the way full before I, I have to get out of here because I'm going to run into a point where I just, I'm not going to level fast enough off these guys for my hand-to-hand -hand skill. I think we're already getting there. Yeah. We're already going to need to fight city guards here. hand-to-hand -hand upgrade there. Go. Steel staff. A griffin's feather. Ooh, a mithril mace. should be it. Okay. Enchanted mace of some kind. What's that potion? Potion of water breathing. Eh. It, it's kind of weird because you get so... Uh, the access to the spells is so quick in this game. On the other hand, the access to actually like making potions is very late. And potions are kind of inferior. You only get a one, like, one use out of them. Yeah... It's, it's a really kind of bass... Uh, I was going to say bass backwards. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a really backward system. But you do on occasion find potions on people that 
have spell effects. Okay, I didn't get a level up on there. Yeah, it's getting slower for sure. It's noticeably slower at this point. Dwarven long sword. Get out of here. You too. You get out of here too. Nectar. Medium tooth. Okay. Guy's a dentist? Okay. Dodgy Scout still didn't get a level up. Mm. Should be like one more guy for sure. Alright. This should do it. There it is, finally. What is my hand-to-hand -hand skill? It is 71. Okay, so we're get, we're at that point. So we've got to graduate from beating up, like, uh, dungeon creatures to city guards. Because city guards are the only ones at this point that have enough hit points to actually tank my hand-to-hand -hand stuff enough. Oh, nice. Dwarven boots. And I can wear those because I didn't... Yeah! Woo, look at my gold boots! Look at my golden boots, plus 13 to armor. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay, so city guards after this. We're gonna go town, sell our crap, get a few more spells, and then we're gonna go... <laughs> gonna go find some hapless area that I'm not going to... Like, it's not going to be a problem if I piss them off and just go wail on peasants and then start fighting city guards, probably. All right. Um, actually, really quickly, I'm going to go back in because I think I've got another level coming here if I just kill a few more guys. Enemies nearby. Let me just go eliminate whoever's out here. Okay. Now I should be able to rest. Let's see if that did it. Should have done it, right? One would have said, okay, well, I'll take a little more then. Let's do a little more. Yeah, yeah. Wow, he just died one hit, huh? The level scaling thing is another thing I'm not, like, too big a fan of. Um, but it's kind of par for the course in this type of game, simply because of how it's, you know, how it's set up. Ah, there we go. Intellect, 93, we're level 8. This means that we've got 72 on our hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay, so it's time. It's time to get the hell out of here and sell our stuff, one. Go buy some other spells that I couldn't afford because I didn't have the money. And then we got to go find a, find a town to victimize. Um, we just travel here. Gothway Garden. We don't have to... I don't have to run up that hill if we don't want to. I actually didn't have to do it the first time, I think. Okay, still got a room in the pig and cat. Yes, yes, yes. And let's go. Is the mage guild open? It's not. Why not? It is... Okay, we have... Oh, another thing I did. Page steps forward and saying, letter for you, Galthran. I think I know what that is. Another thing I did was I made it so you could loiter... Uh, up to 12 hours instead of the default three. Reaching into your pack for something to eat, you spy a note. It wasn't there before. I got two notes. Let's go take a little quick gander at those. Greetings and salutations. I hope your trip was uneventful. They say that you are keenly interested in the haunting of Daggerfall. My father, the King Lysandus, and King Lysandus were somewhat close. 
Should you come and visit me, I might be able to shed some light on your recent upon recent events involving Lysandus. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and dear Galthran, I heard that you're about your incident at the sea, and fear the worst. Now that I've heard you're alive and well, I would like the opportunity to meet you and discuss our beloved Emperor's mission in the Iliac Bay. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lady Magnesson, the Emperor's agent in the court of Daggerfall. My position is not so official as an ambassador, but none other agents uh, of the Emperor know of my true affiliation. Um, oh, sorry, none but other agents. Uh, the Iliac Bay is rife with rebels against the Imperial throne, so your discretion is required. For the purpose of our meeting, I will take a room at the inn for the Crimson Ferry in Aldfort, Aldfort Hill of Daggerfall for one month. After that, I will no longer be available. I expect to see you as soon as possible. Yours sincerely, Brisena, Lady Magnesson. Okay, and this one, we got this one a while ago. Dear Galthran, my eyes and ears abroad say that you are interested in the fate of a certain letter. Any emperor should not be so careless, nor should a queen. You really should come and visit me in Castle Wayrest. I have some most interesting tidbits that I'm sure you would enjoy hearing. Okay, more Gaia. Um, yeah. Alright. Wagon. Throw that in the... Oh, never mind. I apparently drank that when I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, that was invisibility. What? Okay, cancel that spell. I just screwed up. What did I do? Make myself invisible? I don't know what I did. Um, I meant to transfer these to my wagon was what I meant to do. Ingredients, magic items, and these. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, okay. So I was going to loiter about for five hours. Until this mage guild. Wait. No, actually, I've got to, first. I've got to sell stuff because I don't have any money. I just remembered. Oh, I actually probably do have some money. Yeah, let's go back to the Superior General Store and unload this wagon. We should get. Uh, I don't know. Twenty thousand gold, something like that. Enough, enough to finally buy the spells that I need to buy at this point in the game. This is it. I think this guy is going to give me the best deal. I don't know. Sell. All right. Sell all this trash in the wagon. Trash, 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 trash. He's not going to give me this much money. It's going to be more like. Ooh. Ugh. Eight thousand. Really? God, this guy. <laughs> what a ripoff. Oh, wait. For some reason... Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't sell the magic items. And that one of them's worth a lot. Okay, so I got 16,000. That's... To be honest, it's a little bit disappointing, but it's enough. It'll do it. It'll do the trick. Okay. I don't need to do anything really fancy right now. I just need some spells. Let's see here. Mm -hmm, this way. Um, and actually, before we do anything else, we got to go reply to this letter because I have a limited amount of time to reply to this letter. I don't. I don't think. I think this is an optional quest in the end, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, you sir, shut up. You, lady. With the spell maker. Make me some spells. Wait a minute, what was I making? Hold on. Teleport light, heal fatigue. Yeah, okay. I wanted regeneration was what I wanted. Okay, so icon. Give me something like that. That looks like uh Oh boy, I'm I'm putting too much thought into this. Now, give me give me that icon. Okay, regeneration. Since I've leveled, the spell will be somewhat more useful than it was. So 5, so let's see, 10. I think this should be fine. Um 
a magnitude of, of 10 health per level. Actually, I'm level... I'm nearly level 10, so that's actually pretty good. I could probably do with less than that. Well, actually, you know, it doesn't really decrease the cost all that much, does it? Nah, it's got a base cost that's pretty high anyway. Okay, so this is good. Five Duration 5 per level. 1 plus 5 per level. Magnitude of... Um, well, 11 per level. That should be fine. Generation. There you go. Okay, what else do I need? I need things like levitate. I don't need free action, because remember, I... Yeah, free action. We don't need that. Um, heal. Because regenerate is so powerful, we don't need a heal spell for, for our um, hit points. Um, levitate. Just, yeah, just like that. Let's get an icon that's appropriate. Something like that. Nope. Add effect, no. Um, levitate. You do need these in dungeons. I'm not sure if I'm going in a dungeon, but I might. So I'm going to get it now. Reaction, no. Like I said, we don't need reaction. Invisibility, no. Um... Jump, uh, let's see. Water breathing and water walking. Yeah, water walking. Okay, icon. I forget what the icon I usually put with this. I have an icon with bubbles, but that's not, that's not what this is. Wait. What was my icon with bubbles? This should be the icon with bubbles. Or maybe I already made this spell? Let me, let me check. No, okay. No, that's okay, that's correct. Water breathing, water walking, levitate, regeneration. Okay. Heal fatigue. Okay, sometimes I'm going to probably need that. Um, what else? I think that's it. I really think that's it. Light, heal, fatigue, teleport, regeneration. Let me just double check. Make spells. Let me see if there's any other effects that I might need. Charm, chameleon, create item, continuous damage, no... Detect. Oh, dispel. That's kind of just dispel magic. Um, chance four per level. Boy, that's expensive. <laughs> Might be better just to wait for things to wear off. Okay, dispel. Um. Um, swirly icon? Maybe... Yeah. Okay, whatever. Any other effects? Comprehend languages. You comprehend any written or spoken language. I'm not sure what actual use this is, but I don't think... I don't think we... Yeah, I'm going to have to look that one up. Transfer, teleport, yeah, resistance. Spell resistance, spell absorption. All that would be nice, but it's too early. Um, they're going to be too expensive and not last long enough. My level's too low still. Silent, shield, shadow. Paralyze, don't need it. Pacify, interesting. Oh, opens the other thing. Okay. Let me see. I think that's it. Open? Yeah, I think open. Alright. So... What kind of an icon should we make for that? That is... Uh, they don't have, like, a lock icon or anything like that. They just, the icons are a little bit lacking. They're just variations of the same icon with different colors, really. A little bit disappointed with the icons, especially the default icons don't look that uh, 
don't look that distinctive, really. They're just too... Hmm... Too in unspecific. I guess is the word. Um, um so... Unlock. <laughs> okay, unlock. Ah, okay. Well, this is a stupid icon, but at least it's not used anywhere else. Open lock. Ah, just open. Okay. I think I'm ready to go. I think I got my spells. For now. Alright, see you later, dude. I've got to figure out where that letter is. L? Is it L? Let's see. I think I have to look at the... Uh... Nope, okay. I don't have any active quests. Um... So I have to look at the letter. There it is. Okay, so she will be... At the Crimson Ferry in Aldfort Hill. Okay, so I've got to go to Aldfort Hill. Aldfort Hill. There it is. Yes. So, the way I travel is typically recklessly and by foot and using inns. And I haven't, like, I guess, I'm not sure what's supposed to happen, like, what the difference is between cautiously and recklessly. I think maybe you run into enemies, but I, I don't seem to have had any problem. And uh, going on foot trains your running skill. So, why the hell not? Okay, so, it was the... Where was the um, actual tavern? What's that called? Doctor... No, Jewelers. Pig and Griffin. Interesting. What is this? Ah, there it is. The Crimson Fairy. That's right. The Crimson Fairy. There she blows. I wish I could freaking punch her in the face, quite frankly. All right. Ah, thank you for responding to my letter, Galthran. I'm Lady Brissena. Let me bring you to date on the affairs. The specter of King Lysandus haunts the street of Daggerfall at night, trying to communicate with him is futile. He will occasionally moan the word vengeance, but that is the only coherent word I have ever heard him utter. If you ever, if you are ever in Daggerfall, do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legions of ghosts. Actually, dude, I wonder if I could, wonder if I could grind some hand-to-hand -hand levels on those. It would be probably more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know, know the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit more suspicion. Uh, I don't know. Oh, hold on. I do not know of the royal family of uh, if the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit more suspicion. The major powers of the Bay, Sentinel Wayrest and Daggerfall, may be good places to start. In the matter of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand deliver it to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier who supposedly delivered the letter in his stead. We do not even know the name of the courier. Obviously, there is little information of use, but it would be worthwhile to see whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall. Castle Daggerfall. Dag I need a drink. At Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information sh should surface. I am leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Do not mention my name at court. It is more likely to hurt than help. Good luck and watch your back, Galthran. Yeah, watch your back too, woman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish I could punch her in the face. All right, well, we're going. Um, okay, so I've got to figure out... You know what? I could go to Daggerfall. And uh, go there at night and see what this uh, ghost army Lysandus has. See, see what maybe... I don't know. I mean, I'm going to look into that. Um, cause I gotta go get, uh, a refill on my drink anyway, and, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> 